This video is brought to you by Squarespace, an all-in-one platform for building your brand and growing your business online. In 2024, a near miss from an asteroid went almost unnoticed, but what it did in passing is very interesting. Asteroid 2024 MK zipped past Earth at a distance of around 295,000 kilometers, unnoticed until just days before its approach. But what made this asteroid particularly intriguing wasn't just its size, but the subtle change in its trajectory as it flew past us. As 2024 MK flew by, our planet's gravity gently altered its path. But why does this matter? Because in 2029, an asteroid much larger and far more famous will perform a similar dance with Earth, 99942 Apophis. The asteroid will pass by at a distance of approximately 31,000 kilometers, and that's closer than many of our satellites. Most of the satellites we rely on every day for internet, GPS, and Earth monitoring operate in low Earth orbit, just a few hundred to a couple thousand kilometers above the surface. But there's another class of satellites in geostationary orbit far higher up, at about 35,786 kilometers. These satellites remain fixed above a single point on the equator and handle everything from weather forecasting to global communications. Now, 99942 will pass between these two layers threading the orbital needle, zipping through a region of space where no natural object of this size has ever been observed flying so close to Earth. Unlike artificial satellites that are locked in orbit, Apophis is on a hyperbolic path, moving too fast to be captured. But even then, Earth's gravity will bend its course slightly, like a slingshot, but not enough to pull it in. Now, before we proceed, I want to make something absolutely clear. We know, with high degree of certainty, that the chances of the asteroid striking our planet are extremely slim. Unless something completely unforeseen changes its trajectory between now and then, Based on the possibility of such unpredictable changes, an astrophysicist at the University of Western Ontario believes the odds of the asteroid hitting Earth are slightly higher than previously estimated. In this video, we'll explore everything you need to know about the so-called God of Destruction, its current trajectory, how it will appear in our skies as it draws near, and whether there's even the slightest chance it could collide with Earth. Welcome to Territory. This is your space. Imagine waking up one day to see something larger than the Eiffel Tower hurtling across the sky. Now, if such a giant were ever to strike Earth, the results would be catastrophic. Scientists estimate the energy released from such an impact would exceed 1,000 megatons of TNT. That's enough to obliterate an entire region, with devastation spreading for hundreds of kilometers around the impact site. But thankfully, we're in the clear for now. However, that doesn't mean it's keeping its distance. On April 13, 2029, Apophis will make a close pass. In fact, this encounter will be so close that it could rattle the asteroid's surface, triggering tiny landslides or quakes that subtly changes its composition or reflectivity. With a predicted brightness of magnitude 3.1, Apophis will be visible to the naked eye from many parts of the world, tracing a path across the night sky over several hours. This would offer a glimpse of what the dinosaurs might have seen as the Chicxulub asteroid became visible in the sky. But since in our case the space rock is only zipping past the planet, it will cover a stunning 205 degrees, nearly two-thirds of the sky. However, an astrophysicist at the University of Western Ontario suggests that the odds of the asteroid striking Earth are slightly higher than previously thought. In his study, published in the Planetary Science Journal, Paul Weger took a new look at the possibility of a smaller asteroid striking Apophis. What could be the odds, he wondered, of such a strike putting the space rock on a collision course with Earth? He found that an object as small as 0.6 meters across could be big enough to knock the asteroid into a collision course sometime past 2029. He also found that an object just 3.4 meters across could strike with enough force to push Apophis into a collision course with Earth by 2029. However, his calculations showed that the odds of an object striking Apophis at just the right angle to alter its course toward Earth to be roughly 1 in 2 billion, with the chance of that leading to an eventual impact 
estimated at one in a million. To put this into perspective, currently, the asteroid's chance of hitting Earth in the next 100 years is so small, it's about one in two billion, making it statistically safer than just about anything we do on Earth. Meanwhile, the closest any other space rock will come to Apophis in the next few years is 4544 Xanthus. Before that, let's quickly hear from today's sponsor, Squarespace, which offers the best tools for easy website design. With their AI-backed design intelligence, creating your unique digital identity is fun, effortless, and quick. Their website design system called Fluid Engine lets you customize every design detail with this extremely helpful drag-and-drop technology. Squarespace also has built-in analytics so that you can easily track who's coming across your new page. Check out squarespace.com for a free trial. And when you're ready to launch, head to squarespace.com territory to save 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain. In December 2026, the asteroid Apophis will have a close encounter with asteroid Xanthus, with their minimum orbit intersection distance being less than 10,000 kilometers. Xanthus will pass this intersection point just four hours after Apophis. The minimum physical distance between the two asteroids will be about 528,000 kilometers on December 25, 2026. But if we were to discover that Apophis is on a collision course with Earth during one of its upcoming flybys, there would still be time to act. Just as a minor impact could nudge the god of destruction toward Earth, a carefully planned intervention, like NASA's DART mission, could potentially deflect it away. With enough warning, a similar kinetic impactor could be deployed to alter its course and avert disaster. What do you guys think? Drop in your comments to let me know. If you like our videos, please become a member to support us. And while we are at it, let's talk about the space rock that's recently made headlines. Asteroid 2024, YR4. While updated calculations suggest it's unlikely to hit Earth, they now indicate a possible impact with the Moon. The threat posed by near-Earth objects is generally low but remains a significant concern due to their potential to cause regional or even global devastation. These space rocks, which orbit near Earth, are continuously monitored to assess their impact risk. Thankfully, most detected asteroids fall into category 0 or 1 on the Torino scale. Others, particularly new discoveries, may initially be placed in higher categories, but as their trajectories are refined through further analysis, they are usually downgraded. Now, there are numerous observatories that are dedicated to tracking NEOs. However, on 8th March 2025, the JWST observed asteroid 2024 YR4 confirming that it poses no threat to Earth in 2032 or beyond. This marks it as the smallest asteroid web has ever studied and one of the tiniest whose size has been directly measured. Using its near-infrared camera, Webb captured reflected light from the asteroid, while its mid-infrared instrument detected thermal emissions providing valuable insights into its composition and properties. The findings indicate that the space rock lacks the characteristics of larger asteroids, possibly due to its rapid spin and a rocky surface devoid of fine-grained sand. Instead, 2024 YR4 appears to have a surface composed of fist-sized or larger chunks of rock. Webb's observations also determined its width to be approximately 60 meters, comparable to the height of a 15-story building. And while it is off the impact list, it remains under close observation by the Near-Earth Objects Coordination Center in Italy, in collaboration with NASA and other international bodies to further refine its orbit. However, the asteroid might hit the moon. A new research suggests that there is about 4% chance of the asteroid's direct collision with the moon. Some scientists believe that if the impact occurs, it could provide a unique opportunity to study a freshly formed lunar crater. While it would have no effect on Earth, it would mark the first time researchers could observe the formation of a lunar crater caused by a known asteroid. The Alpha Centauri star system consists of three stars, Alpha Centauri A and B, locked in a binary dance, and Proxima Centauri, a faint red dwarf. This entire system is moving toward us at a speed of 22 kilometers per second, or about 79,000 kilometers per hour, making it an ideal subject for studying how material travels between solar systems. 
In roughly 28,000 years, Alpha Centauri will reach its closest approach to us, about 200,000 astronomical units from the Sun. Scientists believe that material ejected from this system can and will reach us, and in fact, some of it may already be here. Existing models of material ejection from star systems are based partly on how our own solar system expels matter, and the researchers built their work on these models. Their findings suggest that Alpha Centauri may have ejected a significant amount of material, estimating that around 1 million particles larger than 100 meters in diameter are already within our Oort cloud. This animation that tries to bring the research to life shows our sun marked in a black hexagon, and its orbit is shown as a gray solid line. Alpha Centauri is represented by the yellow star, with its orbital path shown as a blue solid line. The study visualizes how Alpha Centauri moves through the galaxy and tracks the movement of material it ejects, some of which may already be in our solar system. However, the simulation shows that while particles from Alpha Centauri could plausibly reach our solar system, their size matters. According to the scientists, small particles, those that would appear as meteors in Earth's atmosphere are unlikely to make it. They face numerous obstacles along their journey, including magnetic fields, drag from the interstellar medium, and potential destruction through sputtering or collisions. But the research also found that some material from Alpha Centauri have already reached our solar system, with most of it traveling for less than 10 million years. It's fascinating to imagine that when their journey began, dinosaurs roamed the Earth, and the age of mammals had yet to begin. But to survive the journey, these particles must be larger than about 10 microns. Researchers estimate that around 10 Alpha Centauri particles currently enter Earth's atmosphere as detectable meteors, a number expected to increase tenfold over the next 28,000 years. This research reinforces the idea that our solar system is not isolated. If material can travel between star systems, it offers valuable insight into how planets form. Getting a clear understanding of how material travels from Alpha Centauri to our solar system not only enhances our knowledge of interstellar transport, but also sheds light on the interconnected nature of stellar systems and the potential for material exchange throughout the galaxy.